Hello, Susie. Good evening. I think you are like kind of ready. Who are teacher? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Are you well? Are you freezing? Te estás congelando? Te veo ahí. Sí, me hicieron que me pusiera suéter, pero no, ya pasó el frío. Okay. Fever? Sí. Fiebre? No. 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 Solo uh, only um, Tuesday. On Tuesday, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and did you uh when, did you go to the doctor? No, quiere no. que me manden el tubo ahí. No, 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 no. No. Pero oh, mañana so, creo que... So, <laughs> it's COVID or not? No, mm. fue por la vacuna, la reacción de la vacuna. Ah, es que yo no quise la segunda dosis. Sí, la, el lunes. On, uh, el día fue? que le, eh, fue la moderna. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh -huh. Ay, Quizás es más fuertecita yeah. esa. De seguro. Ok. Okay, fine. I have um, Sinovac, I think it was, but the first day I was very sleepy after the vaccine. Después de la vacuna tenía bastante sueño. Okay. Mm, Usted se puso a las dos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm, Con okay. los viejitos fue. Yes, sí, people. me imagino. O sea, la edad tiene que ir a acorde <laughs> a esto ya. Yes, no, because I'm a teacher. So the teachers uh, were uh, were included in the same as the elder, aparte de los viejitos, así que estaba ahí. Teacher, le decía, señor, usted tuvo que haber ido el año pasado. No, pues sí, usted debería estar ya jubilado, me dicen. <laughs> cosas de la vida, cosas. Sí, ríanse de mi vejez. Y le va a pasar a ustedes, le va a pasar. Ok. So, ah, Dianita, te no, veo Dianita, ya no dicen señoras. <laughs> Mira, ve, ya la veo más motivada, Diana, o ya tiene otra cara, o ya la veo más sonriente. Hace dos días estaba toda triste, era pobre. Ahora sí, sí, sí me gusta ver smiley. That, that's the attitude. Ok, uh, Carla, hello, Carla. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good. Hello. Good, ok, that's fine. Um, did you have the vaccine yet? ¿Ya te pusieron la vacuna? Uh, la primera. The first one. La moderna. La, the, 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 no, no, la. Sinovac. No, la AstraZeneca. Ah, okay. Did you have second effects? Eh, ¿Efectos sí, secundarios? Sí. Mm, dolor de cuerpo, cabeza y mm. sueño. Okay. Okay. Y aquí well, me toca hasta el 2 de septiembre la otra. September 2nd. Okay. So let's wait. Okay. Good for you, Carla. Andrea. Hello, Andreita. Hi, teacher. Hello. ¿Ya te aprendiste todos los verbos que, que me dijiste? No, no. Sí, ahí voy. No, ya te voy a preguntar entonces. <laughs> okay, good. Did you have the vaccine? Yes. Yes. Two. The second. The second doses, okay? Sí. Good. Yes. Did you have second effects? Or secondary effects? No. No. Ok, good. La, la, la belleza de la juventud. Ok, good. Porque a mí me dejó tirado. Ok. Good for you. Ok, Diego. Um, hello, can you hear me? Uh, maybe you're having kind of internet problems. Yes, I think you have. So, meanwhile, here we have Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Hello. Hello, good hey. Uh, good evening. I like your t-shirt. ACDC. ACDC. It has held bells, right? Because of the bell, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes that's it. We got the fly on the wall, uh, house bells, back in black. It oh, has... Wow, very nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like it because it is white and it is not common. It is not so common to find our uh, like rock t shirts or metal shirts in white, right? Most right, of them are, are in black. Mm -hmm. so that's good. Right, I have one that is um, um, Power Slave, Power Slave Ooh. album. Yes, and that is white. Yeah, I really love it. Ooh. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> sí, me imagino. Sí, pero estoy tratando de rebajar porque casi no me queda. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Ah, eh, Marlon, did you have the vaccine? Yes, 
Yeah. Yes. No. Uh, today, today I had I I had the the second, second the second doses. Okay. Doses. Uh, what about what about the secondary effects? Uh, but well, uh, um, I feel only a shoulder ache. Uh, yeah. So ah okay. Shoulder ache. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shoulder perfect. ache. Yeah. Uh, for the moment. Ah, for the moment. Okay. Because I had it today in the morning. Yes, maybe you, you, you can wait a little bit for this, uh, the other, maybe you can have other effects. In that case, you can have a shot of tequila as uh, Diana says, because uh, that's uh, her, her medicine, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it, okay. Nice, Marlon. Nice, merci. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good Are evening. you sleepy? Tienes sueñito? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you need coffee. Do you like coffee? Yeah. Yes, me. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well, that helps when we are kind of sleepy. Okay. But we have um, some different activities. I think you're going to join them. Okay. You're going to enjoy them. Okay. Good. And Mercy, did you have the vaccine? Vacuna? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. That's perfect. Uh, Good for you. Those... So you're not going to die. Okay. It's false. <laughs> they say that maybe we, we may have COVID, that we have that disease, but the risk of that, it is not so close. Es que no estamos tan, en teoría. Okay, so good. Thank you, Mercy. Here we have uh, Claudia. Hello, the curly girl. How are you doing, Claudia? I'm fine, teacher. Are you fine? Okay, that's good. I like your headphones. I think you can, you can listen to a lot of good music. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you look like a DJ. Uh, Claudia, did you have the vaccine? Yes. Yes, pero primera dosis. At the first Falta doses. Segunda. Okay, second. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. So let's wait a little bit. Here we have also, uh, who's this new student that I have here? Calderon. Hmm. What's that new girl? Carmen, hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. ¿Quién es esta cipota que es la nueva que tenemos aquí? No, no, no. Wow. Your hair, your hair looks great. No me he peinado, el problema. No, no, it's different. Es diferente, no, that, I'm not saying that. No estoy diciendo eso, okay. How are you doing, Carmen? I'm fine. You're it's fine. Good. What about, okay. A hard a hard day or a relaxed day, normal day? Hard day because good day. Oh, that's fine. Um, did you have the vaccine yet? Yes. Yes, the second doses? Second. Okay. Did you have secondary effects? Mm, dolor de brazo mm -hmm. y las... La, la primera solo eso. La segunda, un poco de, de malestar de cuerpo, pero... Solo un día. Okay, only one day. Okay, that's fine. Sí. I consider that women are used to. Um, Susi, ¿te acuerdas que es used to? No. Mm, Carmen, ¿te, ¿te recuerdas que es used to? I don't to? remember. No, no, I don't remember. Okay, Andrea, la mujer de los verbos. No. No, teacher. Vaya, okay. Mercy, the sleepy girl. No teacher. No teacher. Okay. Uh, Marlon, do you remember what is used to? Mm, I don't remember. Teacher. Okay, no problem. Diana es la clave del éxito. Vamos a ver. Diana, te invoco. Eh, ¿Cuál es la pregunta? <laughs> what does it mean used to? Uh, mm, used to significa como solía ser. Mm, yes, uh, I used to, I used to, yes. But it's another form to say acostumbrado. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So I consider that women, they have a high tolerance to pain. So sometimes women are used to, well, not maybe used to, but they have like high tolerance to pain. And I admire that. Yo admiro bastante las mujeres. Tienen un alto nivel de tolerancia al dolor. And most of the time they keep silent. They don't say it, but they're having headache, right? Uh, they're having uh, 
any kind of pain. But we as men sometimes we say, nosotros como hombres sí lo decimos a veces, maybe we have flu, y ya estamos haciendo el testamento, right? And we are uh, saying goodbye to everybody, but well. Invocando a la familia. Yes, yes, okay. So cuando yo me muera, le voy a dejar algo a ustedes, right? Cuartense bien. Okay. Behave good. Okay, and here we have the topic is how to use frequency adverbs. And maybe you remember the ones that study with me, the ones that uh, studied the, the, the last course. I'm sorry. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ah, oh, no, you are there. I'm Hello, sorry. Diego. Yes, uh, yes. I, I know that you were having some problems, problem. right, with the internet. Yes. Okay. Okay, but now you're here. No problem, right? Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect, perfect. And what about you, Diego? Did you have uh, the, the vaccine? La vacuna? Yep. Did you went to El Salvador Hospital no. or... No, I don't have it. it no, no, maybe in the yet. future or maybe not. You're not you're not planning to have it. I don't know. I'm scared about it. I oh. don't know why, but okay, I maybe. don't have enough confidence. Okay, there enough. is a there is a risk, of course. There's always a yes. risk. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't want to take the risk yet. Okay, so let's wait. <laughs> okay, we're uh, starting now. And how to use frequency adverbs. Uh, this uh, topic was studied the last course. And I consider that you, you remember uh, some of them. So we're going to study uh, like the most common frequency adverbs, but also we are going to study some others that are also used, okay? So to start with, to begin with, um, we're having some opinions about are there benefits of cloning? Which ones? And when I say cloning, I mean uh, cloning with uh, human beings or with animals, or maybe if, as you have noticed, there are a lot of uh, information on the internet. Uh, you can surf on the internet and find different types of videos, even on YouTube. And you can notice that there are some uh, advances on this topic. So maybe you can tell me um, a little bit about it. So let's, uh, but before that, Helen, hello, Helen. Good evening. Te me esconde, mujer. Hello. Okay, hello, how are you tonight? Good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything, everything all right. Okay, perfect, nice. And yeah. no se por, Helen, I'm sorry. Could you tell me again um, what's your occupation? Yes, las dos. No, 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 no. I mean, what's your occupation? Because you look like a nurse. Te ves como enfermera. I don't know why I consider, I think that you're a nurse. No, 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 no. Or a doctor or something like that. Así es el uniforme de la farmacia, pero no. Ah, yeah, you do work in a drugstore, yes. yes pero ya yes. casi, ya casi. Y vos puedes poner vacuna, puedes pinchar. Este, inyecciones. Dice Diego eh, que quiere vitamina. una, dice. Yes. Sí, puedo, sí Diego puedo. Diego wants one. <laughs> okay. No, we're not. No, ok. Diego wants it. Sí puedo. Dicen oh. que tengo mano suave, no sé. Mm, ah, okay. So well. <laughs> maybe, maybe you, you can have like Angel's hand. Okay. And we're going to send someone of this group to discover it. Vamos a mandar a alguien a descubrirlo. Vamos a ver. A Diana para que se tranquilice. Okay. Edgar, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good? Fine. Excellent. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Um uh, did you have the vaccine, Edgar? Te vacunaron? Yes, yeah, sí. yes. yes, two. Hola. Two of them. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And we have Alex. Hello, Alex. Welcome to the jungle. 
Alex. Okay, he's going to to to, to greet uh, later. Okay, are there benefits of cloning? We're having the first person. And uh, what about Diego? You have a, a, any opinion about this, Diego? Yes. Okay, my friend. Okay, sure. I think that cloning it's okay because you have the opportunity to revive some some relative that you loved or a pet and or or some love being or or a pet however until until i know the cloning is not enough safe for healthy for healthy reasons i mean um, there's no records of a successful case of cloning yeah that is uh, cloning it is not just like a photocopy of a person of an animal right uh, mm -hmm. it is not 100 safe yet yet so well exactly. that's it. That's thank point. you but you, you mentioned a, an important point that i consider it, it is good uh, you can have another pet people nowadays have like pets instead of having like a big family and it happens and that's good okay and even uh, we always remember pets uh, the mainly the first one or the ones that uh, we loved during our childhood, right? So that's it. Well, a good point. And uh, thank you, Diego. And you're welcome, yeah. teacher. Good one. Okay, let's listen to Diana. Are you ready, Dianita? Okay. Okay, Dianita, go ahead. Mm, benefit of cloning include being able to create tissue and organs that mm. doctor, that doctors can use when need for surgery on the original. Okay. If lab can clone and grow only the parts need need this this would eliminate the moral and ethical issues uh, associated. No sé cómo se dice eso. Associated. Associated. Yeah. Associated with cloning an entire person. Wow, uh, that's another good um, uh, idea that you said in a particular way uh, to clone. Uh, body parts, especially organs, right? Organs, uh, uh, lungs, the lungs, the liver, the legal, that, that's something very, um, well, that, that very problematic nowadays, right? So what, well, that, that, that's a good opinion, but also it refers to e ethics, right? A la ética that you mentioned, yeah, of course, it is not mm, uh, normalized around the world, okay? but. That's a good point. Thank you, Danny. Good. What about Carmen, the new girl? Okay, I agree with, with Diana. Mm -hmm. Organs could be made for transplants. Okay. I don't think I would be good to clone a person. Mm -hmm. So you agree uh, in the matter of cloning organs, mm -hmm. mainly than, than cloning people, okay? Well, that's okay. good. And I consider that also there are some opportunities. Well, the, to transplant an organ, it is not so easy. There is a big list in which you have to wait for a person and the related to the blood. It has to match. Okay, tiene que coincidir, of course. It is not that you can use any organ uh, that, that uh, the hospitals have. In, in their, yes, in, in, in their base, right? Of course not, okay. Excellent, Carmen, good for you. What about um, Edgar? Are you ready with your opinion? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, okay, my friend, go ahead. Um, ahorita. Yeah, with the cloning, they have managed to convert human skin cells into Embryonic, embryonic, no embryonic, 
Brian is stem cell. It call is could help treat disease such as Parkinson and multiple, no sé cómo se diría. Multiple, multiple, let's say. Multiple sclerosis or a variety. Okay. Or spinal injuries. Okay, so you said that it helps and it contributes for those illnesses or diseases, right? Mm -hmm. Contribuye a eso, ¿verdad? Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. What about Susie, the special voice? Okay. Mm -hmm. From the little that I have studied on this subject, I can say that a great benefit of cloning is great exact replicas of the cell that was taken to go eat. Example of an animal that may be in danger of extinction. Oh, wow. Extinction. Yes. Extinction. Extinction. Ah, extinction. extinction. Yes, even uh, the last year, while uh, there were a lot of, well, there is, I don't remember. It is a bird, a, a blue bird that was it was supposed to be declared like extinct, extinguished. Um, the one that appears in Rio, el, que, el, el lorito que sale en Rio. I I don't know if uh, that was uh, for real. No sé si fue real eso. I mean that uh, the declaration of extinguished of that uh, species. So yes, we can um, recover or save some species okay thank you Susie. good and we're having mercy okay mercy um okay go ahead no okay. problem um benefit of chronic could be to persevere and danger animal species mm -hmm. species or species, or species. Mm -hmm. yes species only okay yes yes yes, yes of course Yes, it can. Um, now uh, we're going to, to continue later, but uh, here we have some, let me, for tomorrow, I need you to present like uh, three or four ideas. Necesito que mañana presenten tres o cuatro ideas. You may select the topic you wish, okay? So for this case, in this case, uh, podemos utilizar estos. Uh, if you remember, yesterday we, we started um, and we review uh, linking words, que son palabras de enlace, okay? These are la, the sequence expressions that are similar. Por supuesto, ustedes pueden usar la first, second, third, but also you can say firstly, secondly, thirdly, que ya son adverbios, but in any case, they are good. O también pueden utilizar estos. To begin with, in addition, furthermore, in conclusion. So this is a homework for tomorrow. It doesn't have to be extended. It, uh, I recommend you uh, to create a small or a short paragraph So you can share it with the class. Y le recomiendo lo siguiente. Uh, you can say advantages or disadvantages of something. Podemos, pueden buscar ventajas o desventajas de algún tema. Why? You can mention uh, internet, um, online purchasing, compras en línea, um, what a, social media. Okay, uh, we're going to do something. Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a, voy a escribir algunos temas acá, if you want. So you, you can have a, like an idea, like internet. Okay, let me, let me change this. Okay, there are some topics, internet, uh, online, uh, purchasing, and okay, 
you can say advantages, disadvantages. Oh, um, what about freelance or freelancing? Es como ser, pues, eh, independiente. Eh, advantages, disadvantages of mm. gay marriage. You can talk about it. It, it is not a problem, okay? Um, you can talk about euthanasia, acerca de la eutanasia. Uh, you can talk about, let me see here. I think I have some, some, some topics over here. Maybe you can, well, I don't have it like hand, but uh, I will send you like topics. And uh, well, you can talk about abortion. Mm. There are different, there are different uh, topics. Okay, Kevin, thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme, Kevin. So there are, uh, you can uh, pick one of the topics and of course you can uh, uh, select by yourself and um, focus on advantages or disadvantages. Así que se enfocan en las ventajas o desventajas de un tema. Y comienzan. Uh, the topic is internet. To begin with, the, uh, the internet has uh, different advantages. Uh, first, it, it gives the opportunity to have access to a lot of information. Second, y comienza. Ya ven. Son casi como que de cada una de estas me van a decir una oración. Sencillo, práctico. Okay. If you want, you can Google it. Pueden googlearlo, verdad? Es fácil, verdad? Googlearlo. Pero, but in this case, I need you to use your own words. Necesito que utilicen sus propias palabras. I know that it is easy just to copy and paste, but if you use your own words, it, uh, it reflects your level of English. And that's what I want. Eso es lo que quiero, que lo que ustedes me digan reflejen el, el, su nivel de inglés. Porque obviamente, obviously, you're going to take into account different words that you will find on, on, on Google. Pero eh, si ustedes solo copian y pegan y leen, no se va a ver tan auténtico. No es como que ustedes elijan tres ventajas. Tres ventajas pueden ser. Okay. Y me las dicen. Y ustedes pueden cambiarle. Pueden, you can uh, search on internet en in inglés o en español. Pueden buscarle en inglés o en español, como ustedes deseen. Si lo buscan en español, ustedes como que le captan y le pueden poner un poquito más de su salsa. Right? Part of, of your, uh, what? Your, your magic. Así que así es. Para mañana eh, vamos a tener eso. ¿Verdad? Cada uno su sí me va a decir de un tema. Eh, Andrea, eh, Marlon, en so on. Así que cada uno. Entonces me dicen, cada uno de esos. Y esto nos va a ayudar en el caso, in case, in the next level, on the next course, eh, you may have, it is a possibility, that you could present a topic. Y si presentan un tema, ya van a tener como una idea de cómo hablar algo eh, brevemente. Ok? So that's it. And I'm going to uh, send you a list of topics. So you can uh, select any of them. And also, well, in addition, uh, it is not uh, it is not elementary to select a different one. Well, you can select the same one. Pueden seleccionar algunos si quieren que sea el mismo, Susana y Andrea. No, it's not a problem. No hay ningún problema. Okay, questions about this for tomorrow? No questions, verdad, todo claro? Um, Una pregunta, ¿no nos dejaría tarea de las que normalmente manda al chat, al WhatsApp? Solo enviaría una. Ash. Sí, chévere, que nos toca muy pesado los pies. Vaya, pues, vaya, pues, tomorrow uh, only this. Solo esto, vaya, solo esto. Para que sientan, sí, así son felices. Va, tres, tres pequeños tibres lo pueden mandar mejor para que estén en línea, nada. Ok, vaya, entonces solo esto. Con esto vamos a estar felices. Los thank one. you, teacher. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm going to send you the, the topics. Uh, I know that you're going to find uh, uh, like interesting topics. Le va a interesar muchos temas que le pongo. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So, Teacher, yo solo tengo una pregunta. Vaya, yo lo que entiendo en este tema de sequence expression, first, firstly, firstly, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Firstly, sería, firstly. Sería primeramente, mm -hmm. pero para decir secondly. Secondly, es como, eh, no necesariamente se tiene que decir segundamente. Acuérdate que en el inglés funciona diferente. No vamos a traducir literalmente, sino que como, uh -huh, eh, como segundo punto, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir with second point, ¿verdad? No, vamos a utilizar diferentes, eh, ¿qué? Eh, vamos a utilizar diferentes frases que pueden significar lo mismo. Pero como les he mencionado, if you use different words, it uh, gives you uh, or you reflect like a wide or extensive variety of vocabulary. Entonces su, su vocabulario será más extenso y ustedes va, y, y cuando los escuchen van a decir todo wow entonces ok so that's it. eso es lo que quiero entonces. ok that's it ok eh, if we don't have problems y pueden utilizar la, la, las palabras eh, de ayer vamos a ver acá just to remember le doy un par de segundos para que recuerden esas palabras ya me van a decir algunos ok y no se vale leerla en su cuaderno Don't be tricky. Sean tramposos. Okay. So let's see. Mercy, tell me one. Yes. First. First. Con e. First. First. Yes. First. Helen, para que no diga que va. First, next. Next. A la misma que me dijiste ayer. Mira. Okay. Uh, what about Claudia and then Kevin? Ba but, Ay, but, leyendo y leyendo todavía. No, 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 no. Okay. okay, but la vieja confiable. Kevin, and then Carmen. Third, second, third. No, next. Okay, good. Thank you, my friend. Too much power. Good. Carmen, then Carla. <laughs> In fact. In fact. Good one. Carla. Also. 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 Okay. Diana, then Andrea. Mm, finally. Mm -hmm. Andrea, then Diego. Above all. Mm, above all. Diego, then Susi. However. Yeah. Susi, then Edgar. Has, well, has. Mm -hmm. Edgar, then Alex. Finally. Finally. Good. Alex, then Marlon. Besides. Besides, yes. And Marlon. On the other hand. On the other hand. Good one. Yes. Eso sirve bastante. On the other hand, cuando estamos hablando de, a, hablamos de dos ventajas y después dos desventajas. Okay. That, that could work as well. También puede funcionar. Okay. So here we have this. Um, so we continue with uh, are there benefits of cloning? But I need to check the attendance list. Necesito revisar la lista de asistencia y vamos a las demás actividades. Okay, so Ana Mercedes, hello there. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Carmen. I'm here. Claudia Díaz. Present. Nice. Uh, Christian, no. Claudita, no. Not here. Uh, Alex. Present. Perfect, Diana. Present. Okay, Diego. Present. Good. And Dorita, not here. Edgar, yes, right? Present. Perfect. And Helen? Present. Nice. And Carla? Present. Good. And Kevin? Present, teacher. Thank you. Marlon? Present. Good. And Susie? Hi. Hi. Hello there. So we're having the participation of uh, Claudia, Andrea, ya pasaste la entrevista. Are there benefits of cloning? Beneficios de él? No, no he pasado. Ok, so Claudia, then, eh, Andrea. Ok, this, um, my opinion is yes. Uh, for example, for, no sé cómo se dice, Animales en peligro de extinción for endangered. Yes. 
Or, uh, in yes, in danger. Or, yes, species in, in danger. Dan in danger. In danger. Mm -hmm. Animal. This will help to ma maintain this space. Okay, yes. A very good example, Claudia. Excellent. Um, eh, otra, otra forma de decir, por ejemplo, podemos decir, for instance. Y suena diferente. For instance. For, mm -hmm. for example, for example, or for instance. For instance, and you can say, it, and that works good. Y funciona bastante bien. Okay. But okay. thank you, thank Claudia. You. Perfect. Okay, we're going with Andrea. And then uh, we're having, after Andrea, Claudia. No, Claudia. <laughs> It's already, well, has already participated. Claudia and Helen. No, Andrea and Helen, sorry. Andrea, you okay. go. Okay, it depends on what you, what you want to clone. I read that you can clone, clone animals uh, for that produce more milk, more eggs, so that they may, may it? ¿Cómo se dice carne? Meat. Meat, 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 como conocer, meat. igual. Similar. Meat is, la meat is of better quality. However, we don't, don't know if eating this food could be har harmful to health. Okay. Actually, I don't know about the topic. Although, all no. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es? Although, all, although. Although, I wish I knew. Perfect. Solo un detalle. Cuando decís, yo leí. I read, en pasado, I read that... I read. Uh -huh. Porque read, presente, read, se escribe igual, pero la posición es como rojo. I read an article that, or I read that... Okay, perfect. Okay. I wish I knew. Okay, and uh, who's next, who's next? Helen, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, cloning living, being, I don't know, much about is stopping general use uh, experiment experimento no sé cómo se dice yes experiment experiment, experiment. i don't know anymore okay thank you very good we go now with marlon um, mm -hmm. i think if, um cloning uh, can uh, la pregunta cloning can uh, have some benefits but as as i see cloning is in uh, experimental phases yes phase mm -hmm. uh, a phase mm -hmm. phase i i don't have heard that it is completely ready uh, ready ready, ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, um, not nonetheless Using a linking wall. Of course, yes, uh, nonetheless. It could be a good resource to the future of the medicine to help some people. Mm -hmm. So I agree with, with Susie, like she said before, uh, in the idea that for an endangered species, 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 como, como? species, species, okay. species. In, in species yep. uh, it can be a good um, alternative. Wow. For help, it, of course. I, I I think it could be an advantage or a benefit. As as you mentioned, it's in, well, it is developing in like different I, experiments. I see that uh, in in the focus of the uh, in the investigation teacher research research. Mm -hmm. the, I see it. Uh, in the focus of the research. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo veo enfocado en el tema ese investigativo. Yes, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes it is on, on, on the way. Va, pues, ahí va, ahí vamos llegando. Verdad, poco a poco. Thanks, Marlon. Very good points that you mentioned. Uh, now we go with Kevin and then uh, Alex. Kevin, are you ready? Okay. Uh, Alex, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. And then, Carla. Uh, 
to finish. Ben benefit my bet to record mm -hmm. in the year species. Okay, good. Yes, of course. I think we agree. Uh, most of, of, of the ones that have participated agree on that. Thank you. And Carla, are you ready? Uh, it's our way to have plant, plant, plantation, plantas, plantation. Yes, plants, plantations. Plants, mm -hmm. plantation, and genetic and genetic improvement can be modern and animals can can be current for. Okay, yes, uh, you're focused on, on plants, on vegetations, uh, and even to be applied for vegetables, fruits, and all that, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, we're having this. Please take a look at this. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, par de segundos, para que me digan. Tell me keywords, palabras clave, keywords, okay? Okay, now you're ready. Helen, and then Mercy. Dale, con todo. Ya, ¿cómo es? No te doy oportunidad um, para que no te ganen las palabras. ¿Qué te pasa? I knew. Uh, well, after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mercy, then Marlon. Important to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marlon, then so sweet. Ah, okay. um, how, how often do you call your clients? Yes, that's it. So see, then Edgar. Mm, similar, I often call them. Okay. Uh -huh. And Edgar, then Diana. <laughs> the mismo, so how often, how often am I? Que bárbaro, la misma. <laughs> no tienen que ir por lo mismo. Es un, es no, un, si solo esto dice, solo esto dice. Es okay. una trampa. It's a trump. Okay, Diana, then Diego. How often check the email? Todos se fijan en often, ya lo vi. Okay. También decía usually. Ah, vaya, that's the attitude. No, 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 no. Diego, you go. Okay, teacher, I will respond to Marlon. Mm -hmm. I often call them once a week on Monday. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, what about Andrea and Carla? Um, you are right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Carla, then Edgar. Yo solo vi how often. Ya ves que esa es la que llama la atención. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, vamos a ver Edgar and Alex. Eh, ya había dicho how often. I'm sorry, Alex. Alex and Carmen. <laughs> They are, do you call? Okay, Carmen and Claudia. I believe. I believe I can fly. Uh -huh. And Claudia? Yo vi como how how you or how how are you? Algo así. Okay, let's the... see. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si no me está inventando, Claudita. Vamos a ver. <laughs> okay, John, Juancito. How often do you uh, check your well. email? Ajá. Es, es que ya ven, todos vieron how often. Es que se la quema la atención porque se repite tres veces often. Okay, how often, not often, often, do you check your email? Every every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first. I, I'm sorry, I always call them. First thing in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, so I needed to have a screenshot porque después, bueno, les he traído un pequeño, una actividad diferente. Okay, so we're going to advance. Vamos a avanzar en esto. And we're having like a short conversation. Una conversación corta. So please, uh, screenshot and then we go. Okay, I'm going to 
to create groups. So meanwhile, para mientras, ustedes pueden darle una media leída. Teacher, ¿lo puede volver a poner? Ok, no problem. Yes, here you have it. And remember to focus Gracias. on the point you're welcome. Uh, recuerden enfocarse en las pausas, ¿verdad? Every two hours, and you, o oh, acá. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? Esas pausas, eh, pues, ayudan bastante. Perdón, de más. Okay, you can practice a little bit. Okay, let's go do it. Conmigo te tocó, Dianita. Te amo. No te puedes escapar de mí. Ni modo. Ni modo. I'm sorry. Ok. You have the conversation, right? Ya tienes la conversación, ¿verdad? Ok. Eso fue un sí. No te escucho. No tenía activado el micrófono. Lo siento. Sorry. Perfecto, perdón. Okay, let's do it. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them uh, once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday. They check their order. Mm -hmm. to check do you their call? Order. Uh, do you call? To Ah, es cierto. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. Um, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, ahora eso es Juan. So John. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can, I can. Uh, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time all all the time all the time no, all you're the time. right you're right okay bien Danita bien hecho okay. te ha ganado dulce de atar <laughs> bye quiero ver 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Bien, te ven un momentito, ¿ok? Adenita, tiempo sin ver. Ok. The team, here we have now. Helen, ya me apareció Helen, que se me esconde. Ok, Helen, ¿puedes leerme la primera línea, please? Y después, Carla. How often do you check your email? Okay, so lo que quieres, often, often. Mm -hmm. Often. Good. Carla, entén, Andrea. Every two hours and two. And you, okay, Andrea. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Mm -hmm. And how often do you call your client? Mm -hmm. How, how often? How, how, how often? Mm -hmm. That's it. Carmen. I often call them. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Excellent. So look, keep Monday. And the rest was perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, uh, we're waiting for the rest. Estamos esperando por el resto, pero... Ah, okay. Yes, I'm okay. Excellent. What about if we have... Uh, Marlon here. Yes, I always call them first. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Perfect. Okay, you're right. And now here we have number one. What if we have the help of Susan? How often, Susan? <clears throat> I believe e two hours. Okay. Can you read it and then say the answer? Lo lees y dice la, la respuesta. Please, Susan. Okay. How often, do, how often does Han check her email? Her email. Uh huh. The answer? Uh, uh -huh. uh, two bien. hours. Okay. Sí. Two hours. Yes. Yes. Every two hours or mm -hmm, two hours. Okay. Thank you. And then here we have Kevin, number two. Why? Why is it important to check the email every day? Mm -hmm. The email every day. Yes. Okay, Kevin. Why is it important? Because you can have important. Eh, mensaje, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Messages. Messages. Yes. Messages. Okay, thank you. Perfect. And now here we have the topic indeed. How to use frequency adverbs. Uh, use frequency adverbs to say how frequently an activity happens. Quiero ver si. Mejor voy a cortarles esto. Y se lo puedo hacer mejor. So you can. Okay. So here we have uh, the percentage, 0, 0, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, and 100% of frequency. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, or rarely and never. So we're having the first uh, sentence uh, with the help of Claudia. I always. And then uh, we have Edgar. I am always get up, get up at, at five o'clock. Five, yes, I always. Perfect, okay. 
Uh, we have Edgar and after Edgar, we're having Helen. And he usually drives to work. Yes, drives to work. Okay. We have Helen and then Carla. Uh, usual. Uh, she normally. Mm -hmm. He. Mm -hmm. She normally check her email. Email, yes, okay. And we have Carla Hello. and then we have Diego. I often have breakfast at work. Okay, often, mm -hmm. often. Porque la T is silent letter. Okay, we have uh, Diego and then Carmen. Okay. Uh... Where teacher? It's <laughs> 50 sometimes. Okay, she. sometimes. Uh, she sometimes uses the microwave. Yes, the microwave, good. And Carmen, and then we have uh, Marlon. I occasionally work, work over time. Perfect, Marlon, and then we have Andre. Uh, we seldom, seldom? Yes. Seldom teacher. Okay. We so, seldom take calls at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, Andrea and Mercy. He rarely, rarely, así es. Rarely, rare, como rare. He, he rarely, <laughs> has, he ra rarely has conference. Conferences, conferences. Conferences. Yes, and Mercy. I never get letters to work. Okay. Uh, please take a look at this because we're going to use them. La vamos a utilizar en, en worksheet y también en un mini juego que vamos a tener. Okay. So here we have always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, hardly ever, and rarely, rarely, never, ¿verdad? Se dan cuenta que aquí, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos del 0 al 100% o viceversa. So, complete the list of the activities you do in a regular week. And then write the activities next to the word the best describes how often do you do those activities. Okay, here we have always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. I need you to write one. Pero, eh, bueno, una por cada uno. One each one. Se dan cuenta que el adverb o el frequency adverb va después del verbo, perdón, del sujeto. O sea, I, always. He, usually. She, normally. We, seldom. O sea, después del, del, del sujeto, que es, puede ser I, you, he, she, we, or whatever. O puede ser un nombre, Andrea, Diego, normally. Ok, entonces así es. O sea, que va casi al inicio, como la segunda palabra. Ese es el punto, la segunda palabra, ¿ok? So, in this case, I always, I often, I sometimes, ¿ok? Write, uh, write uh, an activity you do. Check emails, go to work, take a shower. Because you always take a shower. Well, I suppose to. Mm -hmm. Have breakfast, feed the dog, water the plants. Okay, que tan a menudo regan las plantas. Uh, check, um, yes, go to the supermarket, go to the cinema. If you never go to disco, if you never go to concerts, or if you hardly ever go to, to what? To Unicentro. Okay. Remember. Always, often, sometimes, hardly ever, ever.
Ok, mientras algunos todavía están completando las oraciones, vamos a avanzar con Is university or high school education necessary to succeed? Succeed significa tener éxito. Ok, it can be relative, puede ser relativo realmente. Mientras eh, algunos están este, completando, uh, you, you are like doing that, uh, the previous activity, la actividad de las oraciones, ¿verdad? Para avanzar un poco, vamos a comenzar pues con eh, second speaking activity, la segunda actividad oral. So we're going to start in this case with Carmen or Andrea. Who wants to be the first one? Quiere ser la primera. Uh -huh. Teacher, por va a poner el otro cuadrito, por Ok. Ah, nadie, qué malas. Ok. Ok, ese ok es como que, anyway, <laughs> ni modo. Ah, <laughs> uh, it is not always necessary, but it is the, uh, for me, in my opinion, is the best option. Every effort has its rewards. No, sé, rewards. rewards. No sé. Yes, rewards. Okay. Recompense. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is not necessary, but it is good to have it. Okay, both high school and university or college. Mm -hmm. yes, sí. yes. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. You're the second one. And then we go with Diego. Okay. Yes, it, it's very necessary. Currently, the enterprises require their employees to have studies. You, you must know about the work you are going to do. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Solo currently, currently. And currently. Everything was amazing. Thank you, Andre. Yes, the enterprises have uh, their filters. Tienen sus filtros. And uh, the filters are called human resources. Recursos humanos son ese filtro. So that happens. Maybe you are able to do the job, but um, uh, the, the businesses or the enterprises, the companies have their own requirements. Okay, tienen sus propios pues, requisitos, que son normalmente eh, los términos de referencia. Right? Okay. So nice. And we're going with Diego and then Diana. Okay, teacher. Mm, I think that maybe it's necessary to improve your your knowledge or your general knowledge, but I think that to be successful in your life maybe it's not necessary, because I I know a lot of people that never never end in the the university and mm -hmm. they are. They are successful. Yeah, they are successful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And there are something that is called entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is um, a person who has uh, their own businesses. I'm talking about um, like small enterprises. Me refiero a las pequeñas empresas, verdad? Lo, lo, lo que son en un emprendimiento que son emprendedores. So that's it. So uh, that's another option. You can have success in the life, not necessarily by studying, but depends mm -hmm. on, on your objectives, depends on your, or what you want to, to do, obviously, right? Obviously everything requires- um, Knowledge, yes, of course. Knowledge. Yeah. Knowledge, but that's knowledge is, it is not the same as a university degree or high school degree, because you yeah, can because be- you can, you, you can be autonomous, I don't know yes, how to say it. Yes, self, no. you, you can learn by yourself or autonomous, of course. Yeah. And uh, you can, uh, nowadays there are different courses online, or even you can find a variety of information on internet, of course. Yeah. That's it, even uh, I am- uh, I, A lot of information everywhere. Yes, I really love to to watch some some podcasts from this um this is an enterprise from here in Salvador that is called Fisherman 
Uh, I don't know if you have heard about it. Uh, uh, it is finanzas para todos. I strongly recommend it. Que okay. se realmente se la recomiendo. Buenísimo. And that, How it is named? Um, uh, finanzas para todos. You can find it on Facebook. Finanzas para todos. Okay. From Fisherman. I, I consider that YouTube is a, a university. Yes. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. And unfortunately, a lot of people uh, don't, don't take advantage of that important tool that we have. Not for free because we need internet, but you can find Wi-Fi access in different places nowadays. Eh? So you ah. can you can learn a lot. So if you want to know about your finances, how to ad administer or, or manage your finances, look for that um, for those podcasts. Están en Facebook, están en YouTube. Okay, I will. I yes. really will. Believe me. Thank you. Believe me. Okay, it's a pleasure. And we're going with Dianita. Okay, Diana. Tell me your things. Let me to pick up. Okay. In my opinion, I consider that it's necessary. Necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it gives you more possibilities. Although it depends more on how you use your knowledge. 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 Wisely. Well said. Well said. Sabiamente, wisely. If you use, um, use wisely, okay? Uh, so in this case, uh, usar tu conocimiento sabiamente, similar to, to uh, the, the other participants mentioned, uh, you can have a lot of knowledge. Even you can have an, an university degree, a título universitario, but if you don't apply what you know, uh, it is going to be difficult to succeed in life, okay? And even you can learn by uh, your friends or, or yes, yeah, so some, some relatives, and, and, and you can have more opportunities, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Danita. What about Marlon? Are you ready, my friend? Yes. Uh, okay. Go ahead. I really, I really agree with Diego, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, I think uh, uh, many people has uh, success, 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 success uh, uh, without the university degree. Uh, I, I think you can be a, a self. Uh, ¿Cómo es? El, auto, el autodidacta. Self-didactic. Mm -hmm. Self-study. Uh -huh. Self-study, self-didactic, uh, mm -hmm. self-learner. Uh, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You can be your own teacher even. Yeah, yeah. You, you can do it. And and, and I think uh, you, uh, well, uh, the university or the high school education is not necessary, but it, it can be an, an advantage if you if you can apply like a, a, another job or, or you can be a, a manager mm. i don't know yes yes it, that's it, an important aspect yeah yeah we i we can we, no no podemos negar no podemos negar we can deny we can deny that it is it is it is a good a good um Advantage, no advantage. 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 Definitely, definitely. To have the university degree, definitely. we cannot deny this. It is not bad to have a, a university degree, right? But <laughs> uh, yes, uh, in the case, and I have known different cases in which there are a lot, a lot of good employees, and they can have a high position, but unfortunately. Um, human resources look for different profiles in which they can fulfill all the expectations. And if, the, if those employees don't fulfill the expectations or I mean the filter or the studies, it is a possibility that they are not going to have that, that Yes, that I, have position. Known, I have known some cases uh, like this. It is sad, uh, it's triste because they know to... a lot. They have the experience. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, 
like I said before, I, I have uh, heard about some cases in, in, in this uh, position or in this in that case. Mm -hmm. uh, but so you need in, 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 in this case, you need the university degree, you need yes. the high school. Yes, education. however, it depends. But, but to have su success, you don't need it, I think. Okay, yes, that's the point, right? Okay, yes, yes. good. Good one, good one. Thank you, thank you, Marlon. Te activaste, Marlon, te bien encendido, eh? Estaba de, de coach, de motivador, <laughs> igual que Diego. Okay, so uh, what about Andreita? Teacher, ya pasé. Ah, no, Ana Mercedes. Mercy, mercy. Sorry. Ah, mercy. Tell me, what do you think? Okay. Um, of course, considero. Yes. Yes. I consider. Uh, sense is facilita. Yeah, facilitates, gives you opportunity. Is access to decent and quality job opportunity. Mm -hmm. Is professionally strength used in no, no, ¿cómo se dice? O sea, hay mejores oportunidades de calidad. Yeah, yeah, quality. O sea, un, quality un trabajo, jobs. Un, un trabajo digno y de calidad. Yes, yes, okay. Mm, Be better. In skill, mm -hmm. in skill to care of the world or manage or on business. Okay, yes. If you're talking about management, coordination, or different kind of business in a in a well, in a corporation <laughs> or a big enterprise, of course, you need it. Okay. Thank you, Mercy. What about Susie? Okay, uh, not always. I have seen examples of people who are very successful and have no have a special specialized como es, specialized, specialized 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 education. By the way, is a good complement. Mm -hmm. That's it. A good complement as everything. Okay, even if you can speak another language. Imagine you have more opportunities and that's it, but you have to look also the opportunities. Okay, thank you. Um, I consider that all your opinions are good enough. Um, thank you. Um, you have uh, completed your homework. Thank you as well. So we're going to the worksheet. And in here, I need you to create the sentences by using, no sé si, si a ver. okay. Let's see. If you can, uh, yeah, if you can read, uh, the only thing that you have to do is to place uh, the frequency adverb uh, in the sentence. Tienen que utilizar ese frequency adverb en la oración, okay? So we have from one to nine, and we're going to start with Carmen, and then um, Mercy. ¿Cómo es, teacher? Tengo que ocupar el often. En el, en el primero, sí. El, vamos, we're going to use the, the frequency advert that is in parentheses. El que está en parentheses ah, okay. lo vas a utilizar aquí. Pero seguí tu corazón. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Dónde lo vas a ubicar? He often listens to the radio. To the radio, yes. Listens. Listens. Ah, ok. Listens. He, he often listens. Because we're talking about a third person. Okay, so number one, we're going to do this. Okay, perfect. And who's next? Who's next? Mercy. Number five. Number five. I sometimes take sugar in my coffee. Yes, perfect. Okay, thank you. Dorita, good evening. Hello. Good evening. ¿Cómo estuvo la fiesta? How was the party? I'm Perfect. fine. <laughs> fine. Ya vení cansada de bailar con los ángeles azules. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Your word yellow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful, Dorita. 
Okay, uh, can you help us with this activity? It is easy. You just have to place, tenés que, pues, ubicar cualquiera de esos ver, eh, adverbios dentro de la oración. Uh -huh. uh, number two. And then Elgar. Okay, number two. They read sometimes a book. Casi, casi, Dorita. Después de they, vamos a utilizar sometimes. Vamos otra vez. Let's do it again. They sometimes read a book. Yes, sometimes. Yes, I like that. Me gustó eso. Okay, Edgar and then Kevin. Uh, nine. Nine. Yes. They never watch TV in the afternoon. Perfect. Good. Okay, we go with Kevin and then Helen. Number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. My grandmother always goes for a walk in the evening. For a walk in the evening. Perfect. That's it. Helen, and then we go with Alex. Number three. Number three. Pete. Uh, Pete never gets angry. Yes, nunca se enoja. Pete dice. Okay, igual que Dianita, que nunca se enoja. Okay, good. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Alex, right? And then Christian. Number eight. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Walter usually kill his father in the chicken. In the kitchen. kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Fíjate que todo, casi todo el mundo nos hemos eh, confundido al menos una vez con esa palabra. Kitchen. Se, no sé por qué, hasta yo me confundí varias veces. Yes, kitchen. Uh -huh. Walter, usually. Mm -hmm. That's it. Perfect. Okay. Creo que ya tenemos hambre todos. We're, we're hungry. Christian, are you ready? And then we're going with Carla. Ah, no, Carla ya pasó. Por. Okay, Christian. Eh, solo, teacher, ¿qué es lo que había que hacer? Porque... Vaya, solo vas a ubicar una de estas palabras en la oración. Seguí tu corazón, Christian. <laughs> lo que está, la palabra que está en paréntesis. Te voy a dar tiempo. Ok, Carla. Ok, en la cuatro me quedado, ah, okay. pero ahí... Va, va, la, ver, partó, ahí. la partó, dice, como la pupusa, porque no se la gana. Ok, Carla, you're going with number six. Um, Ramón and Frank often are in hungry. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Solo un detalle. Cuando utilizamos el verb be, y eso no se los expliqué. Primero va el verb be y de ahí va el, va el, el, el preconceived adverb. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. el preconceived adverb iría aquí. Mira, Carly. ¿Puedes hacerlo de nuevo? Ramón and Frank are often. Often hungry. Oh, hungry. 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 Ok, thank you. Hungry. Ajá, el mismo, the same rule for you, Christian. La misma regla para ti. Four. Christian. Eh, sería, <laughs> siguiendo el corazón, this stone is Dale. usually very friendly. Yes, good one, ya ves. Me falló. <laughs> no, está bien, no, no, yo, yo te digo que me falló de... Fallamos con las decisiones con las personas. Okay. Tom is usually very friendly. That's correct. Thank you. Bueno, ya está listo para otra relación. Good. Good. Okay. Adverbs and expressions of frequency. Esto lo estudiamos. We studied this, um, the last model, the last course. So, este es similar. Este es similar, right? Al que le, le presenté, pues, la, la vez pasada, right? Así que no van a tener mayor problema para la siguiente actividad. Look. Tenemos acá adverbs and expressions. Siempre con un porcentaje. 100, 90, 70, 50, 10, and 0. How often? Entonces vamos a completar estas oraciones. De acuerdo. Related to the calendar or this graphic. Ok. De acuerdo a esto, entonces, miren, fácil, como tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Aquí tenemos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, de acuerdo a esto, ¿ok? 
Entonces, cuenten los espacios. You count these spaces and based on that, you can use uh, different uh, frequency adverbs. The same here. Lo mismo aquí en el pastel, en la gráfica del pastel. Miren cuántas tenemos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Easy, cheesy. ¿Verdad? Entonces tenemos seis, ¿verdad? Y de acuerdo a eso, ustedes cuentan acá, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos este? Cheque. One, two, three, four, five, six. De acuerdo a eso, para que no tengan problemas. ¿Ok? Vamos a comenzar con Carmen. ¿Ok? And then we go with Andrea. Ok. Number one. Number one. We hardly ever walk the dog. Ok. Yes. Perfect. We hardly ever walk the dog. Yes, perfect. Okay, eh, Andrea, then Diego. Number four. Number four. You never make you your bed. Okay, good. But that's fine. Eh, Diego, and then we go now with Claudia. Okay, let's see. Number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sam sometimes rides his bike. Yes. Perfect. Okay, Claudia, then we're going with Diana. Number two. Number two. I often drink tea. Yes, easy, right? I often drink tea. Mm -hmm. uh, Diana, then Marlon. Number three. Number three. She, she always wears a hat. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, uh, Marlon, then Kevin. Um, number five. Five. Um, my sister uh, often plays tennis. Okay, my sister often play tennis. I'm sorry, one, two, three. I think it's... Usually. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. My sister... Usually plays tennis. Perfect. Uh, Kevin, and after Kevin, we're having Edgar. Kevin, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Eh, de hecho no entendí cómo está eso que tenemos que ir contando va, no. va, está fácil, mira, está fácil ok no, tenemos seis espacios we have six spaces, mira one, two, three, four, five, six de acuerdo mm -hmm. a eso comenzamos a contar acá one, two, three, four, five, six ya, si tiene yeah. un espacio va a ser never Pero si no tiene ningún espacio, tiene never y así sucesivamente, es de acuerdo es de acuerdo principalmente a la, a qué a, a lo más eh, frecuente. Te voy a dar tiempo. Ah, okay. ¿Cuál vas a elegir para apartarte? La última creo que es. Ok, te la dejo. Ok, aquí te la dejo así. Ok, and we go with Edgar, right? Ah, no, Kevin. Yes. Ah, Edgar, yes. Uh -huh. eh, la, a ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, seis, la ocho. Uh -huh. Hey, uh, my dad never eats fish. Perfect. And we go now with Dora. And then Mercy. Mm -hmm, Dorita. I can hear you, Dorita. Please turn the, the, the microphone on. Seven. Oh, seven. They are often... Talking. Okay, talking. Yes, perfect. And this one is going to be for Mercy, right? Night. Uh-huh, yes. She is always very happy. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, Kevin. This is area we sometimes take a taxi. Mm, almost. Seria... In this case, yes, 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 sometimes. Not bien, aunque en la de Marlon, cuando fue, no sería usual. 
sometimes usually take a taxi. Okay. We usually take a taxi. Okay. And ahora tenemos una actividad diferente. Antes de irnos a esto, vamos a hacer esta actividad. Ok. ¿En qué consiste esta actividad? Se la voy a explicar de esta manera. Esto es como un, it's like a puzzle. Es como un juego de palabras, como, como no como crucigrama, pero en el crucigrama se utilizan dos palabras. We use across, que son las horizontales, and down, las que son verticales. Ok. So, uh, for example, Susie is going to say, Um, one across, five down. Entonces, si me dice one across and five down, yo me vengo acá. Y aquí five down. Y esta sería como de, de meeting point, como el punto de encuentro. Así que esta pregunta se la voy a hacer a alguien. Ok, vamos a otro ejemplo. Andrea dice, six across, que es este, eh, dice... Six across, across, three down. No, six across, four down. Sería acá. Y esta pregunta se la voy a hacer a alguien. ¿Ok? Another example. Diana says. Eh, three across, one down. Entonces, este sería el punto. ¿Ok? And that's a question for one person. So, but what's the point? You're going to say the name. For example, Mercy says, Diego, two across, two down. Así que esta pregunta se la hago a Diego. Okay? And then Diego continues with the game. Yes? Creo que sí, más o menos. Okay. Sí, dice Andrea, quiere hacer la pregunta. Yes? Okay. Eh, para comenzar con esto, vamos a ver. Le voy a mostrar la otra imagen más grande. Uh -huh. eh, Me dicen si alcanzan a ver acá. Yes. 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 Ok. Good. Entonces eh, vamos a ponerle acá. Vamos a cambiar esto acá. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to Play this and the first person is going to be Andrea porque la vi. No, Marlon, voy a poner a Marlon para que se active. Ok, aquí le voy a poner. Esta va a ser across. Y esta va a ser down. Okay, I think, um, okay, no problems. Okay, um, Marlo, you start. Select one name. Okay, uh, uh, Susie. <laughs> okay, vamos con Susie. Five across and four down. Five across, four down. Aquí tenemos a esta. I'm sorry, I want to. Five across, I'm sorry, and four down. Susie, what things sometimes make you feel angry? What things sometimes, sometimes, no, not always, okay. What things sometimes make you feel angry? Um. Ignorar, ignor, o sea, no hablar, oh, oh, sí, oh, ignorar. Oh, no, 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 I mean, pero que te hace sentir enojada, or you, when people ah, ignore ¿qué you. ¿Qué cosa me hace sentir enojada? ¿Qué yes. cosa me hace sentir enojada? Cuando digo algo y no lo hacen, o sea, cuando me preguntan algo y yo contesto y no lo hacen, me enoja. Ok, es... well, let's say people ignore your opinion, because they are ignoring your opinion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, ok. So see, you go. Okay, um, a Carmen. Okay, Carmen. Across one and down six. Okay, across one, 
down six. Across one, down six. Sí. Carmen, what sports do you sometimes play? And I uh, used to play basketball. Ah, you used to play basketball. Okay, perfect. Now you go. Select another. Uh, okay. Uh, mercy. Three across, five down. Three across, five down. Okay, Mercy. What kinds of YouTube videos do you often watch? It says in ceremony. What kinds of YouTube videos do you often watch? Crazy. No te estás durmiendo, ¿eh? <laughs> okay, Marlon. <laughs> we are listening to you. <laughs> At least you said something relaxed. Dijiste algo tranquilo. No, relax. Hey, ¿Cómo es la pregunta, teacher? Perdón. <laughs> Marlon se activó. Lo bueno es que dijiste algo tranquilo. ¿Qué cosas ves en, eh, qué cosas ves en YouTube? ¿Qué videos? Mm, video de music? Yeah, whatever. Lo que sea. The music. Okay, music. What kind of music? Mm -hmm. Angeles Azul is like Dorita or what? Mm, de todo un poco. Okay, a mix. Okay, you go, Mercy. Yes. Remember, uh, across, down. <laughs> okay, a Helen. Helen. Four across. Mm -hmm. Three down. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to do something. I'm sorry. Uh, three across. Two down. Four, four across. Okay. Three down. Okay. Uh, to to whom? Again. Helen. Helen, what do you never do in the morning? ¿Qué nunca haces en las mañanas? Helen. ¿Qué, nunca, qué, ¿Qué es lo que nunca haces en las mañanas? Ejercicios. Exercise. Ok. But it is important. Ok. Helen, you go. ¿A quién? ¿A quién? Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Who's Gonzalo? Chacón. Chacón. Edgar. Ah, Edgar. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me the number. Uh, across. Mm -hmm. Two. Two across and. Um. Number five. Five down. Okay. Five down. Okay. How do you usually travel to work or school? By bus, by car, by motorcycle, by walking? Uh, sometimes uh, walking and sometimes motorcycle. Motorcycle, wow, adrenaline, good. Now you go, Edgar. Who? Uh, okay, veamos. Uh, we have Claudia, we have Christian, mm -hmm. uh, Diana, Diego, Carla, Kevin, Marlon. Mm -hmm. Andrea. Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Pongamos, Go ahead. No sé qué significan esas, pero pongamos eh, one across, one down. Ok, ask any question. Vaya, en este caso tenemos que preguntar cualquier pregunta. Cualquier, any, any. Podemos hacer cualquier pregunta. O sea que uh -huh. yo la tengo que hacer. Yes, I'm going to give you time. ¿Quieres que te dé tiempo? Um... No, right. Pensalo. What's your favorite something? What do you do on weekends? What, what do you favorite song? What's your favorite song? Okay. 
¿Cuál es tu canción favorita, Andrea? ¿Cuál es tu um, favorita? Ahí tengo muchas. Ok, select one. Um, amazing de... Aerosmith. A Aerosmith. Uh -huh, amazing. Eso me recuerda mucho. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. um, Andrea, you go. <laughs> ok. Andrea, thank no, you. Well across three. Uh -huh. Ay, pero no dije quién. Quiero ver. Eh, ok, Claudia, uh, Cristian, Diana, Diego, Carla, Kevin, Marlon. Marlon. Marlon, go ahead. Uh, across three and down three. Down three. What do you sometimes meet on the weekend? Ah, who, I'm sorry. Who do you sometimes meet on the weekends? Okay, we're talking about people. We're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes meet with my friends. Ah, meet your friends. Okay. Fine. Yes. On the weekends. Thank you. Bueno, como ya pasaste, ¿verdad, Marlon? Tú comenzaste. Ah, sí, pero no se vale repetir. Dale, pues dale. <laughs> ok. You can say eh. Claudia, Christian, eh, Alexander, eh, Christian, Diana, Diego, Carla, ¿qué? Uh -huh. eh, vamos con mm, eh, Carla. Carla dijo. Carla, ok. Vamos con Carla. Uh -huh. Number five. Uh, across and number three down. Okay, what things do you never worry about? Okay, yeah, okay please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what things do you never worry about? De que nunca te preocupas, Carla? Mm. La comida. Food. Okay, <laughs> food. food. Don't yeah. worry about food, you know, the comida esta mujer. Ok, Carla, you go. Mm -hmm. Tienes que decir, you can say, eh, but the person. Eh, I will remember you. Claudia, eh, Christian, Alex, eh, Diana, Diego. Um, Diana. Diana, ok, we go with Diana. Mm -hmm. uh, cross and two. Two. Um, down. No, down. Uh, three. Three. What do you almost always do after class? ¿Qué, qué haces casi siempre después de clases? Ya no. I always sleep. <laughs> That's very honest. Okay, thank you, Diana. Okay, you go. You can select uh, Claudia, uh, Christian, Diego. Alex. Huh? Sorry? Diego. Diego, let's go with Diego. Across one and down four. Down four. Where do you usually go on holidays, Diego? Mm, on holidays, I usually go to the beach. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Diego, you go. Uh, okay. Claudia, Christian, Alex, Kevin. Cla Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Okay. Uh, one across and two down. Okay. What do you... In English class. Okay. <laughs> what do you seldom do in English class? Mm -hmm. Claudia. Yeah, that's easy. That's very easy. Como es la pregunta de qué uh -huh. se, rara vez. Uh -huh. ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué es lo que hace rara vez en clases? Rara vez en las clases sería... Activar el micrófono sin saber. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> nah, no, quieren, esto quieren, no me vale. ha pasado todavía. <laughs> no, no, maybe one. Well, todo nos pasa, todo mm. tenemos la primera vez, ¿ok? Mm. Rara vez es que uh, no, no, 
Por ejemplo, cuando pone las capturas, rara vez. Ah, mem no. Memori no, memory. No, memoriza okay. rara vez. Ajá. Memorizing. Ok, thank you, Claudia. Uh, your turn. You can select uh, Chris. Uh, I don't know si se quizá no te ofrecen, creo que sí. Uh -huh. Christian, Alex, or Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, uh, what number? Across four, mm -hmm. down, five down. What kind of clothes do you never wear? Okay, Kevin. ¿Qué tipo de ropa nunca usas? Eh, pantalones I always use shirts ok, you always use shirts ok, fine thank you Kevin and you, you never wear pants and what about Christian or Alex cualquiera de los dos Ajá, Kevin. Lo siento, eh, Christian. Ajá, Christian. Tienes que decirme el número. N número across y luego el número down. Across. Three down. Three. Down what? I'm sorry. Three. Three. Uh, that's repeated. That, that's already taken. Ya se tomó otra. Ok, vamos a ponerle three, across three, uh, four down. Vamos, Cristian. What kind of movies do you hardly ever watch? Eh, sería... ¿Cuál película nunca, nunca veo? Mm -hmm, ¿cómo casi nunca. Mm -hmm. Casi nunca veo. No sé. Whatever. Eh, uh, Twilight, Crepúsculo, or something like that. <laughs> no, Harry Potter. Well, that's why I'm saying hardly ever. Uh -huh. Harry Potter? Sí, yes. Okay, Harry Potter. Okay, you go, tienes que preguntarle a Alex, okay? And so, el último. Mm -hmm. Across uh, six. Across uh, six. Five down. down. Five down. Okay, Alex. What strange things uh, do your friends often do? Hmm. ¿Qué cosas extrañas eh, hacen tus amigos a menudo? Um, ¿Cómo se dice discutir? Argue. 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 Okay. Argue. Argue. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we're about uh, to finish. Uh, we have, what, uh, 15 minutes, casi 15 minutes, okay? So before we finish, we're going to continue with the questions. And is it necessary, the university or high school education? And here we're having the Edgar, uh, participation. Vamos contigo, Edgar. My opinion uh, is good. It's good uh, have uh, education uh, the university or high school. Okay. University uh, high school. Yeah, um, but um, I don't I don't think it's necessary uh, Necessary, indispensable, no sé cómo se podría decir. Yes, fundamental or basic. Uh -huh. Fundamental, fundamental. Uh, because uh, I, uh, there are there are jobs uh, for for different kinds of right or skills uh -huh. or abilities. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Y, o sea, cada quien podría, digamos, que superarse. No, no, así va. Uh -huh. que, que del día, del, al día siguiente va a tener un montón de dinero, ¿va? pero poco a poco podría ir escalando. Yes, it can be uh, improving, escalating. Okay, thank you. Kevin, your turn. 
Okay. Uh, for me, I think that it is not necessary. There are more ways to be successful in life. I once heard that a doctor lives here by my house who helps his father sell bread because there is no work. Mm -hmm. And I know people who are successful and did not go to university. Okay, yes, okay. Uh, thank you for telling me, thank you for telling me. Y um, I'm sorry, se me pasó por alto Dorita, vas a disculpar Dorita que te vamos a poner en juego que no has pasado, yo sé que venite a bailar cumbiones y todo eso, pero aquí te va a ayudar Andrea, ok Thank you Kevin for your opinion Interesante el, 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 la opinión esa del, del, del médico Ok, Andrea ¿Qué le vas a poner a Dorita? Across three and yes. down one What kind of food do you rarely eat? ¿Qué tipo de comida rara vez comes? Eh, activate the microphone, please. Um, ¿Qué comida rara vez comes? Sopa de pata. <laughs> Como decía, mamá no te vayas, decía eh, Diego, ok. Ah, sopa de patas. Okay, mom, wow. don't go. Mom, mom, don't go. <laughs> okay. Eh, Dorita va sopa de patas. It's perfect for Sunday. Sun, right? Ah, Marlo ya está saboreando. He's for tasty. hangovers. Ah, yes, definitely, Diego. You said the truth. That's it. Yes, after, <laughs> after hangovers. Okay, good. Thank you. Eh, Dorita, now you tell me. Estos son este, across y estos son down. A mí across, me va a hacer la pregunta. Across four. Across down four. Six. Down six. Ok. What kinds of things often make you laugh? ¿Qué cosas eh, a menudo te hacen reír? In my case, everything makes me laugh. Well, I, I consider that I like to laugh a lot. Me gusta reírme bastante, especially when people do things and they don't notice it. Cuando la gente hace cosas y no lo notan. Yeah, I really like to. That or listening to jokes. Yes, why not? Me paso riendo bastante en el trabajo and that happens. Tengo que comportarme. Okay, thank you, Dorita. So I'm sorry if I, is, if I sometimes uh, make some jokes and disculpa si a veces hago un par de chistes. I think that that uh, improves the environment, mejor el ambiente, because I don't see myself as a boring person. No me veo como una persona tan aburrida. Well, I consider myself that I'm not. Considero que no lo soy, ¿verdad? A veces un poquito. But I like to talk about different things. Okay, so we're about to finish in 10 minutes. Thank you, Dorita. And to finish this, what about Christian? Could you tell me something, Christian? about university if it is necessary uh, not tanto <laughs> not, not, I believe, not that much uh, i believe uh, that is not enough no science to succeed we uh, must fulfill or or most of our dreams and objectives Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Well, but, but it's not so necessary. Okay, thank you. Uh, Helen, is that Lisa? Helen, we're about to finish. Yes. Okay, and then uh, Carla. Go ahead. And a course that imports. Okay. And in occasion, do to like of money. And we send no study more. Mm -hmm. mm, helps to obtaining barrel economic level. I go settleable for my skill. Okay, oh. good. To, to obtain um, good economy level. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. Now you go, Carla. And we finish with Alex. 
Um, yes, because we have more opportunity mm -hmm. and no let let be. Okay, we have more opportunities. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Okay, uh, Alex, your turn, and we finish, and we're having like nine minutes to finish everything. In my opinion, mm -hmm. it is definitely important to be a professional and be able to achieve exit or como se dice? Uh, success. Success. Okay. The, 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 okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, so we have nine minutes. Tenemos nine minutos. We're going to practice a conversation. Vamos a practicar una conversación. And that's all. ¿verdad? Eso es todo. Let's see. We have these four conversations. So tell me if you find a new word. Vamos a ver si encontramos una palabra nueva. Okay. For example, specializes. Specializes. Um, let's see. Mm, number two, countryside, ya saben que es el área como pues medio rural. Races es crianza, es de, de crianza. Races, um, own, propia, own. Number three, ya saben que es quedar fit, estar fit, ¿verdad? Estar en forma, fit. Eh, cuando decimos works out, significa eh, hacer ejercicio. En este caso, en este contexto es workout, ¿verdad? Eh, es como ejercitarse. Aquí se dice diet. Mm -hmm. Ok. So I need you to have a screenshot, please. Number one and two. Eso lo van a hacer bastante. Teacher, en la uh -huh. conversation four, está una palabra que es short. Es, no, siempre me equivoco con estas palabras. Pero lleva una S, H, R, E. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, shreds. Yes, desgarrar. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, aquí dice, what does this machine do? ¿Qué hace esta máquina? It shreds paper. Es, es de esa máquina que, que desgarra papel, es, es la que procesa el papel. Me imagino que es para la que... What? Trituradora. Trituradora, cuando ustedes ya quieren, eh, ¿qué? Romper las cartas de sus ex. Cuando ya no le quieren desaparecer. Ok. Uh -huh. That's it. Thank you, thank you for the help. Okay, please have a screenshot. One, two. Saben que solo vamos a hacer la, la uno y la dos porque ya estamos por terminar, okay? Only one and two, please. Y la tres y la cuatro la, la vamos a hacer. No Ay, no te okay, ya que tiene la la captura. Vamos con las mismas parejas. Practican las dos veces. Okay, you can change. Uh, there is uh, the conversation between man and woman, and then you can interchange. Pueden intercambiar. Okay. So. Let's see. Okay. See you in a couple of minutes. Hola, Dorita. Te tocó conmigo, I'm sorry. Bien. Eh, discúlpame, Dorita, que no te había visto. Fíjate que como estoy con esta cosa, me ocultaba <laughs> la opción y después dije, Dora, oh, <laughs> diablos. Ok, so we are here. Ok, uh, I start, comienzo. What does Bob do? He works at 
a hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He's, he special, specializes, special, specialize. specializes in sports medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Perfect. Uh, where does Mary uh, where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also plants her own food. She has it all. Perfect. Okay. Now we interchange. Vamos a intercambiar. Comienzas tú. What does? Where does Where does Mary live? And she lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also plants her own food. She has it all. Bien, vamos ahora a la uno, Dorita. Tú comienzas. What does? What does Bob do? He works at a hospital. That, what, what does he do there? He, mm -hmm, he is a doctor. He specializes in sports medicine. That sounds like a great job. Job. Yeah, he loves it. Okay, Dorita. Excelente. Bien, y te felicito con los homeworks. Va bastante bien tú. Gracias. ¿Te cuesta un poquito? Sí. Bueno, pero como siento que está mejorando. No sé si te has dado cuenta, pero este módulo es más pesadito. Sí, así veo. Así. Pero lo puedes hacer. Tú participas, me gustas tus opiniones y todo eso. Pero no nos podemos quedar con lo mismo del módulo anterior porque no Ajá. vamos a avanzar, Dorito. Sí, tal vez es de como el vocabulario, el uh -huh. significado de las cosas, ¿verdad? Sí, me voy a tratar de enfocarme uh -huh. más en eso y me voy a detener en ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? Para ayudarles más. Uh -huh. Vaya okay. más. Bueno, uh -huh. porque eso es lo que quiero. Si sí, se van con otro teacher más adelante, que sientan más fácil después. Ajá. Pues sí, eso es lo que quiero y que ustedes digan, ah, con el teacher no cuesta nada. Ajá. Muy bien, te vemos un rato. Está bien, bueno. Okay, um, we're about to finish. Ya estamos por terminar. Así que, pues, comienzo a ver quiénes están acá. Los empiezo a leer para avanzar. Okay. So, let's see. Ah, no, ya yeah, están bien. Okay. Okay. I'm to check the tenants list. Ah, no, just checking más. Okay, um, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present teacher. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Thank you, Carmen. Present. Perfect. Claudia Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Present. Thank you, Alex. Present. Diana, nice. Present. Good, Diego. I almost live in. Yes, almost even. Uh, uh, Edgar. Uh, I'm here. Dora, thank you. Present. Ellen, thank you. Present. Carla. Present. Okay, Kevin. Present. Good, Marlon. Present. Good, uh, Marlon and Susie, okay? So, Hello. Okay, goodbye, have a nice uh, night. Uh, me quedo con Dianita, me parece. Creo que ahora te toca. Okay, okay. Hi, everybody. Goodbye. Okay.
Good night. Descansen. Bye bye. Ay. Ah, sí, porque te me escondes, Dianita. <risa> Bye. Ya estaba hasta acostada. Mm, no, sí, ya no, te mentira. vi ahí los ojitos, los ojitos, <risa> mira, ya todo. Mm, no, mentira. Ah, mentira. Todas las mujeres me <risa> Bien, Dianita, este, okay. coment comentarte, bueno, más bien preguntarte cómo has sentido este módulo este inicio de este módulo, ya que pasó la primera semana, lo sentí pesado, mm. lo sentí bueno, fácil, normal, complicado. Mm, no, solamente que mm, quizás sí, ya es un poco más serio lo de la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Y consideras que, que está súper difícil o, o está aceptable? No, aceptable. Uh -huh. Pero sí se siente un poquito la diferencia, ¿verdad? Sí, o sea, ya tiene que ser un poco más, ¿cómo decir? No profesional, pero sí un más poco formal. más avanzada. Ajá, más formal. Sí, el, el, el anterior fue bien, bien relax, va. Ajá. Bien tranqui, sí, sí. Lo que pasa es que eh, lo, mi objetivo es que si van a otro módulo, que el otro módulo, aunque sea superior, que lo sientan más tranquilo. Y que te digan, ah, con José no es total, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Entonces eso okay. quiere. Sí, eso es, es, el, es el objetivo, ¿verdad? Que ustedes y desarrollen más fluidez. Y lo están desarrollando. En esta semana he visto cambios. Solo en esta semana. <risa> y si te das cuenta, los temas que estamos tratando son, ya son un poquito más formales, son diferentes. Uh -huh. No son tan sencillos como What's your favorite movie? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces. No, es. también la, las... Worksheets, creo que se llama. Ajá, los worksheets. Eh, igual lo que es para listening, se podría uh -huh. decir. Ajá. Es un poco más, también un poco más complicado porque es más rápido, ya es no se detienen avanzadito. tanto. Ajá, entonces quizás hasta escucharlo quizás cuesta un poquito más. Sí, pero poco a poco uh -huh. vamos viendo ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos uh -huh. a ir avanzando. Ese es el objetivo. Vaya, Dianita. Eh, ¿Crees que revisemos algo? ¿Qué consideras que te está, se te dificulta un poquito? ¿O que necesitas no, un poco de repaso? No, solamente las clases que en las que no estuve. ¿Cuál? Pero, ¿Qué, o sea, ¿qué, ¿Qué día? Fueron la primera, creo. Fue la, ajá, fue la segunda y la tercera, si no me equivoco. ¿En la primera sí estuviste? No, no sé. Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, si quieres, te, te voy a dar un review sobre eso. No, si me importa. Ok. okay. Eh, número, la primera clase sí estuviste. Sí. Ok, number two. Siento que te no, don't worry, be happy. Yes, es, es amigos. Ok, eh, vimos time expressions, fíjate, eh, como expresiones okay. de tiempo, para regulares, para actividades regulares. Entonces, eh, imagínate, la pregunta fue: ¿What fictional place would you like to visit? ¿Qué lugar te gustaría visitar? Bro? Pero igual, nos vamos a basar en esto. Eh, uh -huh. Le expliqué que en lugar de decir I think, porque si te das cuenta, este módulo lo he empezado con para que me den muchas de sus opiniones. Uh -huh. eh, most of the speaking activities are based on your opinions. O sea, que todas están basadas en las opiniones que ustedes me van a dar. Entonces, voy a volver a explicarles eso, porque la mayoría, si te das cuenta, I think, I think, todos me dicen uh -huh. I think. Entonces, ustedes pueden decir, I believe, I guess, the way I see it, I am of the opinion that, as I see it, I consider, It seems to me that I'm convinced that. Ok, si quieres le puedes tomar una captura de pantalla okay. o lo copias, porque sí, considero importante porque vamos a tener más actividad de speaking. Ok, ya estuvo.
Ok. Eh, entonces, eh, si quieres, te la repito una vez y después vas tú. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos. I believe. I believe. I guess. I guess. The way I see it. The way I see it. I am of the opinion that. I'm of the opinion that. As I see it. As, as I see it. Mm -hmm. I consider. I consider. It seems to me that. It seems to me that. I'm convinced that. I'm convinced that. Mm -hmm. Si te das cuenta, en lugar de decir I think. Uh -huh. Si quieres puedes decir este, I consider. Ese es bien fácil. Uh -huh. bueno, yo, Ajá. No, yo la hecho, uso. Ajá, ahora me salió en, digamos, cuando traduje lo que quería decir de, lo, de la segunda actividad, me salía esto, I consider. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y si te das es cuenta, algo común. Ajá. Es fácil de decir. Y ya no decís I think. Entonces, si te das cuenta, hay muchas de las palabras que vos decís, ah, sí, así que significa. Y cuando vos la encontrás como ahora, decís, ah, sí, está fácil uh -huh. de decirla. Vaya, entonces, es por eso. Puedes decir, I believe, yo creo que. Uh -huh. y, y también están las otras, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. estas son como más prácticas y que se te vienen a la mente rápido. Okay. Okay. Así que para las siguientes, tú puedes empezar a emplearlas, ¿verdad? Así como las linking words que le di, que si te das uh -huh. cuenta, cuando uno ya les empieza a a usar, uno ya le va hallando el hilo y dice, ah, qué chivo, estoy utilizando otras palabras que comúnmente Ajá. no he utilizado. Sí, pero quizás eso es lo que cuesta un poco, o sea, como hilar una oración y ya expresarla. Poquito inglés, poco. Pero uno pensarla, ajá. Eso quizás mm -hmm. es lo más. Poco a poco. Esa parte ajá. como que la más complicadita, pero después ya vas a ver, te acordarás de mí, es bien fácil. Ok. Bien, entonces tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Que tenemos check my email, ¿verdad? Type a letter, write a report, send a meeting. Call clients, read a report, visit clients, organize meetings. ¿Cuál de estas este, no conoces? Um, quiero ver. Attend a meeting. ¿Qué te es dice como, tu corazón? Es como. Attend suena como atender. Uh -huh. Una conferencia. Una, atender una conferencia ah, o una reunión. Uh -huh. A una reunión. Ajá. A una reunión. Ajá. A meeting siempre va a ser reunión, Type. puede ser conferencia. Type a letter, no sé qué es. A escribir. Escribir. Uh -huh. Principalmente digitar. Type es digitar, ah, pero se traduce. Ajá. Type. Uh -huh. Type uh -huh. a letter. Ok. So, that's it. Uh, vamos a ver. Hice una retroalimentación de esta. De los. Uh -huh. no sé, por eso, ayer no sé si te diste cuenta. Y otros días uh -huh. que yo he estado viendo lo de los uh, negative and affirmative. No, sea, igual en las conversaciones aparece eso. Ajá. Uh -huh. Te das cuenta que aparece Ajá. bastante eso. Por eso hago ese refuerzo, porque a uno se le va. Eh, uh -huh. El lives, el doesn't, ¿verdad? Este, déjame ver. Tuvimos esta conversación que, pues, la vamos, si quieres, la repasamos rápido. Ok. Mm, dale. What does Dominic? What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, mm -hmm. la vimos la, la, la vez pasada. Mm -hmm. Cuesta, cuesta. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Porque confunde. Bien, y aquí este, hicimos un repaso de las, uh, de las terceras personas. Mira, fácil. ¿Ve? Checks, goes, likes, Dominic, ¿verdad? He checks, ¿verdad? Esta es normal. Y aquí uh -huh. das que esta tú ya conoces eh, todo esto. Uh -huh. no, no hay ningún problema. ¿Verdad? Okay. Y pues, ajá. Este, pues estas son actividades. Si las conoces, ¿verdad? Call, have, check, uh -huh. wake up, work. No hay problema con esta. Uh -uh. No, bueno. Eso. Ah, pues básicamente eso vimos. De ahí solo fueron worksheets. ¿Ver? Ok. Sí, si te das cuenta, hoy sí les pongo varios ejercicios. Sí, <risa> pero sí. a la vez es mejor porque se desarrolla uno más la. Sí, porque todos ah. participan. Aunque a veces, uh -huh. si te das cuenta, algunos se tardan un poquito. Y uh -huh. se tardan, se tardan los que no estuvieron con, con, conmigo el uh -huh. módulo pasado. ¿Te das cuenta? Entonces, sí, y, y a ver la diferencia de no anticipar, 
Porque ustedes rápido, ah, tal, tal, el otro se queda, ah, uh -huh. ah, entonces. Más que todo en los ejercicios de memoria, que ya más o menos estábamos con, también acostumbrados a, a eso. A, a retener, ¿verdad? A retener. Ajá, dicen, no vi, teacher, es que no vi. Ajá. Y en cambio ustedes están más buzos, ustedes están así como... <risa> y hago el cuaderno en la mano. <risa> no, pero, pero eso te ayuda como si estás con otro teacher y, y te agarras sin... Uh -huh. Bueno, ustedes no lo van a agarrar en curva. Pero sí tengo que ir a este... Pero eso me gusta que vean la diferencia. Uh -huh. Ven, ustedes son más buzos. Entonces, vaya, entonces este, hasta aquí okay. estaríamos, Dianita. O sea, cualquier cosa, si okay. tienes dudas, me preguntas, perdón, chat, ahí te contesto, ¿verdad? Gracias. Good, Good night. Good night.